Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. And now switching gears uh, to our next subject here. But just before I do, there's one SMS here that I want to uh, read out. Someone here says, good morning, Joyce. What I have learned today is mind-blowing. And I also remember that in the Bible that it says, faith without action is dead. It's upon us to live life the godly way until the end. Hakuna cha njia nusu. It's either the way of Christ that leads to eternal life or the way of Satan that leads to eternal death simply thank you very much for that feedback there keep sending in your comments to double two triple nine you can also reach me on social media at switch tv ke on instagram and at switch tv kenya on facebook and twitter for now though i'd like us to turn our attention to our next guest his name is roy samwere and he's the founder and developer of nifunze academy karibu sana to the show now, of course, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of students have really been forced to study at home, right? And um, there's many different online platforms that have sort of been making their debut during this season and uh, trying to really provide a solution to a number of students really struggling and make it bearable for their parents as well. Today in studio, um, we have Roy, who's the developer of this platform, and we just want to hear a bit more about it and what it could do for you and your children. So, Roy, um, to a Nifunze e-learning platform, first of all, what is it? Okay, thank you very much, Joyce, for this opportunity. I appreciate it, actually. Karibu. Yeah, the reason I came is to inform about uh, Nifunze e-learning platform. Mm. And Nifunze e-learning platform actually is uh, what we all basically do. It's a locally developed platform mm -hmm. that actually enables teachers. This basically it enables teachers or empowers teachers to teach as, as usual. They, they always teach in school. Like as if they're in a classroom. Yeah, like uh, the normal way in class. We just have brought the normal classroom online okay it's just a platform that empowers teachers to continue with whatever they've been doing in class home at home when they're at home just working at home environment okay yeah they can just carry on whatever they're doing at home whatever they're doing in school at home can you explain that to us because obviously now you're not in the school environment yeah. so when you say you're bringing shule nyumbani like what does that mean what basically it means it is a platform like i give you a platform where a, norm, a platform where you do everything that you've been doing in school. Okay. Yeah, like the normal class that you are doing in, in school, you bring it online. Okay. So you yeah. just continue with your curriculum. You continue with your curriculum online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this right. way you can actually, whatever, whatever you've been doing, let me explain it better. Yeah. Whatever actually, like you see the normal classroom setup. Yeah. I've developed a system that carries on like the normal timetable, mm -hmm. the normal breaks, okay. and the normal learning. It's in the system. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So you know this, this class, this period is for this long. Yes. There's a break, you switch over like that. Exactly. Okay. You switch over like that. When, when did you start this? Yeah, we started like, uh, basically this was a project I was doing in school, but right now I revived it because of the situation that we are right now. Okay. I've realized there's a gap, that there's a need, there's a need. Yeah. that students need to continue with what they're doing sure, at home, sure, what sure. they're doing in school. Yeah. They need to continue with, they were, so I just wanted to fill this gap. Well done. Yeah. So at least COVID, you know, you've found a silver lining for you. Exactly. And you've been able to plug in and do something. Yes. Um, are you covering courses, you, you know, from primary school, high school, secondary? What are, what are, what are the courses that have been <coughs> done? Uh, basically, Joyce, as I said earlier, I brought the platform. Whereas what I do, I bring a teacher. Well, okay, we go to schools, basically mm -hmm. we go to schools, ask them, you've got your teachers ready, right? They need to teach. We're giving a platform where we can come with our cameras, we can come with our, we can come with our cameras, if you don't have a studio, we can okay. come with our cameras, set up a studio in your class. Okay. And then after setting a studio, we project everything that you've been doing in okay. one particular class. Okay. We project everything that you've been doing either live or we can pre-record it. Okay. So the, we do not have the content. We don't provide content ourselves right. as Nifunze. Okay. We only give you platform. We come to you as a teacher. We ask you now, give us the platform or give your student, give your student the content. Okay. Like for example, if it's mathematics, <coughs> it, mathematics was supposed to be taught at around 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. So we just give you a platform that we, we give a timetable. We ask you now, 
yes, you were supposed to air your mathematics right now. The same way you're airing me right now, the same way <laughs> you're airing the normal classroom. Okay. Yeah. It's <laughs> nice. live. Nice. It's live, yeah. Yeah. It's alive with the lo with the interaction with with the interaction. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And um so I guess I does the platform allow like multiple multiple viewings i guess by the people who come on board or is it that at eight o'clock it's only going to be mathematics by mr Ocheng, and then at you know 9 30 it's english by mrs degwa I, I get you now it, it it allows since we've given it to different schools but as a particular school yeah, for example, multiple viewing, you mean by class one, class two, class three can go at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Okay. It can go at the same time. Okay. So, so what we do, when a teacher is, uh, when we have class one ready right now, a teacher can go online with class one ready mm -hmm. and give out the content that he has. Yeah. Okay. When you have class two, teacher can go online and give out the content that he has for yeah. class two. And I is mean this open two. to on, um, even other systems? So, or is it only like, are you only focusing on KCP? No, with... Uh, or the Kenyan system, rather. Actually, what we do, because actually I saw an opportunity, I saw a, a gap, whereas they, we've got different uh, different platforms outside there. But, you know, they're not favoring the CBC education. Right. They're not favoring the CBC, actually. Right. So, what we came up with, came up with something that favors the CBC. Okay. In that, even if you check our... After every question, after every class that we have, mm -hmm. we've got also the we all also have the exams mm. or the assignments that favors the CBC. Okay, it's normal. They can actually kids can be able to kids can be able to just the normal way. Mm -hmm. They download the uh, they download the assignments. After downloading the assignments, they can be able to take the assignments. After taking the assignment, they take their photo, their picture. They take the they open the app take a picture that what they've done and then they upload back to the teacher to mark I see. that but for the upper classes it auto marks actually the oh. system auto marks whatever while you're on the site yeah while you're on the site okay. while you're on the site the system auto marks itself okay. that's after the assignment or after the lesson after each and every lesson the system will be able to auto mark itself okay the question that actually a teacher has already posted got you yes so are you targeting because you've mentioned you know you can go to a school and find a teacher uh, who maybe wants to continue their classes. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to target individual teachers or are you now trying to work with schools to ensure that all of their teachers, you know, are, in, are on this platform? And I guess, how many different school teachers can your platform host? Uh, I'm not targeting individual teachers or a school. Hmm. I'm, targeting, I'm targeting that teacher, that person who wants to continue the education, okay. to continue teaching his students or her students when, when during this period. Okay. I'm targeting even schools, let's say even schools at large, ask you, yes, school, right now you are at home. We have this solution that can be able to, can be able to help you reach out to your students wherever they are. Mm. Right now, you, you, okay, most of the teachers, what they do right now, they send you to a nearby cyber, go pick an exam. We've, kept, we've sent an exam there, mm. go pick. Mm. But I'm telling you, no, come, we've got a system that can be able to help you reach these t students easily. Okay. Yeah, so we're targeting everybody who is teaching. Okay. But we make sure that, we, what we do mostly, we're trying to make sure that everybody who comes to the system is qualified to teach. Right, that's very important. Yeah, we make sure that everybody who comes to the system is qualified to teach. Because we have also our team on Nifunze, quality assurance team, mm -hmm. that makes sure that this teacher actually is qualified to go online. Mm -hmm. But if you go to a school, a principal knows this teacher. Mm -hmm. So the principal gives us an opportunity now to give out to give us an opportunity to give that teacher opportunity since he knows that teacher. Right. And remember, if you give your system, that system you custom make it for your school, so you can be able to track the performance of your student. You can be able to know who's which student was online. You can be able to know which student did the assignment since all the students they've got a profile. Mm -hmm. If you register in the system, you've got a profile. We okay. track every movement okay. of your student. And on the back end then, yeah. uh, not the back end, but on the user end, the students, is this, you can just access it. It's, a, it's an app or you have to go to, you know, you, do you need a laptop and you're sitting at a computer? Yeah, you, you do it you, just through your phone? Yeah. Actually, there's a good question. You need any phone that can be able to access internet. Okay. A good phone that can be able to access internet because it's a browser-based system right gotcha. now. Okay. Just open it to a browser-based system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need a laptop 
phone that can access internet. Yes. Okay. So have you already rolled out um, sort of courses? Is the platform active already? Yeah, the platform is active already. How many maybe teachers do you have on it? And uh, right now we have more, more than 200 teachers. Wow. Online. That's we have really more than good. 200 teachers. So each of them just has... So if I'm the end user, I just come and I pick which one I want to... Which teacher's course I want to follow. Yes. You, what you do, a teacher comes in and logs in, creates a school... After creating a school, that's a school. That teacher creates this. Okay. In that school, you ask your students to join that school. There's a specific okay. code okay. for that school. Okay. When joining, you enter that specific code. Okay. If you enter that specific code, it will go straight to that teacher. Yeah. So basically, most of the teachers that we use are uh, actually for tuition. Okay. They're the individual teachers. Right. Yeah. Then okay. the individual teachers, actually, what they do, they create the school, the virtual school, actually, mm -hmm. and invite students. Okay. Yeah, they invite students. And on that platform as an end user, I can be in different schools, quote unquote. Yes, yes. Because I could have one teacher for this, another teacher for that. Yes. Okay. So let's, let's say, for example, there's a school that you know performs very well. That school is in the tab. When you're an end user, you can see that student, you can see that school blinking live. Mm -hmm. You can access that school if they have allowed. Okay. The school can allow to go public. Okay. They can allow their, 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 their um, topics to go public. Okay. Let's say, for example, school A is public. This school A performs better. Yeah. So in the system, we, we ask them, would you like to go public or you just want your school to receive your content? Yeah, private only. Yeah, private only. Yes, there's a choice. Okay. So if they want to go public, they just they will allow the system to go public. Very interesting. So if, you, if any end user clicks that link to join that public school, They'll be able to access the content of that school. Got you. Yeah. So how, how are you sustaining all this? Are the teachers paying you to be on the platform? Do the students also pay per course that they take, per classroom that they get into? Yeah, actually, that's an interesting question. You know, the system has to, has to catch up with the... We have to move on. The mm -hmm. system, we've got teachers that we need to... The teachers, actually, that needs to be paid because right now everybody needs something. Yeah. So it depends with the teacher who brings the who brings the students. Because me, I'll only ask, I'll only ask you for this system to sustain. But I don't, I don't. We don't charge teachers. We don't charge schools. It's actually absolutely free of charge for the schools. For the teacher. Yeah, for the teachers. So absolutely even if free I have something to teach, I can just. Yes, go. it's absolutely free of charge. We Are only you? charge the end user. Okay, the students access, now. Yeah, to access the system. Okay, and yeah. how much? And does that vary based on sort of the number of? Uh, classes or courses you take? Exactly. It No, it's unlimited. So it's one time? It's unlimited. Like it's unlimited cost. daily payment, yeah. Limited daily payment. In limited daily payment, you can choose weekly payment. Unlimited daily payment. Yes. Okay. How much are we talking about? Uh, it now depends with what the teacher asks the student to pay. Okay. We only ask for some percentage of what the student has paid. Okay. Yes. So each teacher determines their own price. Yeah, determines their own price, what they need their so student to, to But it's not free. Got it you. So to Mrs. Owino, to join Mrs. Owino's class, yes. I could pay a thousand. Yes. To, to join teacher Mato's class, it could be 500 or f 50 shillings. Okay. So you're so paying per the course. You're paying per, per the course. Day. Per day. Okay. So what we do, we only ask you for a percentage. We write an agreement for a percentage of what they've paid. Now your agreement is with the teachers. Yes, with the teachers. Okay. Yeah, because actually they cannot access the students cannot access this they, they can't access the system without payment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, very interesting. And uh, how many? So you you have like two hundred teachers on board already. Yeah, around two hundred um, teachers on board. How many students sort of have been able to use the platform so far? Uh, we have more than a uh, have more than a thousand students using the system right now. Currently. Yes, currently. Wow. Well done. Well done. Uh, someone here says, hello, great minds there. Is there any subscription fees? How secure is the platform? So we were just talking about the subscription fee. It's actually per course per day. So basically, it's online tutoring. It's, it's so the an same way you tutoring. would pay for, you know, one hour of tuition. Okay, now here it's the day exactly. of tuition. Yes. You'd pay for tuition every day, a thousand bob or 500 bob. Yes. It's basically the same thing just on an online platform. Basically the same thing. Okay. And, and remember also, remember also, you don't need... To have a teacher so that you, to join a specific school, anyone can join because there's unlimited content which are there. There are schools that are posting their content free of charge online. Okay. Yeah. So there are schools that actually they teach their teachers who are in the platform who are actually giving out. It's called they're donating. 
to the public. Okay, so someone can actually possibly find a free yeah, course. Yeah, someone, actu someone also can actually donate course. Okay. We ask people to donate courses, to donate materials for okay. education. So somebody can just come on and I want to donate for today. And does the end user have to pay for those ones? No, for donation is free. That one is free. Yeah, because actually if you join the system, if you have somebody donate for the first day, actually for the first two days, it's free. Okay. The first day is free. Absolutely free. You don't need to pay anything, anyone. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, they were asking if the platform is secure and can exams be taken on the platform? Yes, the, the platform is secure. Since we money, we've developed it more locally, we host it locally, it's so much secure because we can be able to access anything. Okay. You can do the exam online. The exam can be taken online because right. it's actually timed also. Okay. Yeah. Um, someone here is saying, hey Joyce, yesterday we saw on the news about children in marginalized places being unable to access education. Is there anything they could do to help bridge that gap with their app? I guess the challenge would be you need a, a smartphone is the first yes. thing. Yes. Yeah, and unfortunately, in a lot of semi-arid areas here in the country, you know, most people still only have a basic phone and not a smartphone. Exactly. So I guess that would be the biggest challenge. Yeah, actually, that was the first thing we thought about before coming up with, before, before coming up with an online platform. Because how can you reach that student who doesn't have a smartphone? Mm -hmm. That student who has never seen a computer. Those students who doesn't have a TV. In as much that we provide CDs to schools, we do the the teachers who provide we we make the cities in as much that we do that we actually came up with the with the with a solution for that mm -hmm. you, you know the ivr the interactive voice response right when you call me yeah there's a there's that voice that tells me dial one yeah. press one yes. to access this press two to access this so what we came up with, we developed something like that because we believe they can access at least a phone Okay. At least even a phone. So they, li they listen to the lesson. Yeah, just to, you, you call a certain number. It asks you press one for English, press two for mathematics, press three, and then you can learn online. Okay. Yeah. Wow, very cool. Unfortunately, my time is up. Let me just uh, very quickly read some final SMSs here. I'm glad for the e-learning platform that has enabled students learning continuation uh, during this pandemic time. Um, again, asking if it accommodates students in remote areas. There's a lot of infrastructural things that are beyond what Roy is doing that, you know, really government needs to check into. Um, so, for his app, other than the IVR, where they can actually dial in and hear the lesson, uh, I, I think that's what it's limited to at the moment, right? Yes, yes. Um, hey, Joyce, I love what those guys are doing, keeping education going. My child is just about to join nursery, and I'm afraid she'll miss out on school. Do they do classes as early as nursery, or at what ages and classes do they start? It sounds like if a teacher on boards, you could absolutely start doing yeah. nursery school We start classes. from playgroup, actually. Playgroup? Play, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, fantastic. Um, well, I really want to thank you very much for coming on to the show. And actually, I should mention that every Monday, we're going to be having Nifunze teachers uh, taking your children through a session here on Full Circle with Joyce. This is basically a free platform, you know, for you to have your children uh, learn something. So parents, please make sure that your kids are tuned in every single Monday and they can even ask questions on our SMS line. That's double two triple nine. And the teachers will be there to give them some free lessons. We'll be sharing information later on as far as what ages that will be covering and maybe even what subjects that will be covering. But do look out for that over the next uh, several Mondays here on the show. Asante Sana to you, Roy, again, please give us the details of your platform as far as how people can find it yeah okay what you can do to get us you can go to you can you can visit www.nifunze.co.ke uh -huh. you can also get our number just give us our number uh -huh. let me just give our number what what you can the the first is uh, the number is 0794 okay 268 282 all right. Let me repeat, 0794 268 282. All right. And also you can send us a, an email at info, email info at nifunze.co.ke or nifunzeacademy at gmail.com. All right. Yes. Thank you, Roy. Thanks for coming on to the show and good work you're doing with your team. And I guess we'll be seeing you guys on Mondays.
Thank you. All Thank right. you for the welcome. I appreciate your time. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. All right, guys, we need to take a break now as we get ready for the second hour of the show. Still lots lined up for you here on Full Circle with Joyce. Continue sending in your feedback to double two triple nine, and I'll see you after this.